Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melba. I'm Melba Peters and I'm here today to show you how to make a whale done Skinner card. So I posted this uh, card on my blog today. So I'll put the link um, when I post this to YouTube so that you can go back and find the measurements and the instruction, the written instructions that are there. But I thought I'd just do a video and give you some tips and tricks on how to make these Skinner cards. So let me just switch over to my desktop and we'll get started. All right, so this is the card that I want to show you. And you can see on this card that the whale is suspended um, and I kind of spins um, between in the opening. So it flips from back from side to side. Um, so I want to show you how to make this. I've done this a couple of times. I used uh, pampered pets and, and in, um, dangled a, one of the, the dogs in between. So you can, uh, you can adapt this card um, to all sorts of different stamp sets. But for this one, I'm using uh, the Whale Done uh, bundle that comes with the Whale Done stamp set, as well as this really cute um, punch that you can punch out the whale. So we're going to use that today. All right, so let's get started. Put this aside. OK, so all of the measurements for this card, as I said, will be on my blog, but I've got them cut out here and I've got my pieces. So I have my piece of, I'm using Just Jade for my card base. So this is cut four and a quarter by 11. And we will fold this in half. And if I could find my bone folder. It was here a minute ago. We would give this a good, oh, here it is. Not too much stuff here. And I'll give it a good crease with the bone folder. Okay. So the second piece that you're going to need is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And this one is cut four inches by five and a quarter. And then the third layer is a piece of Pool Party. Aren't these colors pretty? I just love them. Um, that is cut three and three quarters by five. So that's going to be the front base. So what we're going to do, put that out of the way. The first step is to layer these pieces together. Now I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And hopefully you can see that. Okay, take the cutting plate off. And I'm going to put this piece down like this. And then I have the, this is the layering circles dies. And you're using for this the second largest of the the circles. So with these pieces in place, and I'll explain why I do this, I cut all three layers at the same time. You could cut them one at a time um, if you wanted, but I just find by cutting them all three at the same time, um, you get them in the same place and you're not fussing to make sure that these whisper white here, um, that you're trying to get, you're not, sorry, you're not, you're not fussing to make sure that you get them in the same place. So roughly, these pieces, sorry, Ugh, I moved it. Okay, so this is one of the tricks is get your pieces where you want them to be without jingling and jangling them. And my pool party in the right spot. Let's go over a little so it's even. Okay, and then you want this to, this piece, this um, circle, to be roughly, uh, that's probably about three quarters of an inch or so from the top. Let me put the cutting plate on. Now, one of the tricks with this is because I'm going through, put it this way, because I'm going through three layers of cardstock, I will have to run this through multiple times. If you were just doing one piece of cardstock, you absolutely only have to go through one time. But I'm going to run this through, so that's once twice, probably about five or six times. Um, the first two layers will absolutely go through in about four times. Um, but I know from experience that, that the, the card base layer uh, will not cut through fully. So we'll just cut there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that, yeah, so there's the first layer. And yeah, so everything is cut through. So you do, that's one of the tricks. If you're going to do this like I did, you will have to run this through uh, multiple times. So there's my, 
my pieces like that. Okay, so the other thing that you want to do um, while you have your, your big shot, or sorry, your big shot, your salmon cut and emboss machine, gee, force of habit, um, I'm going to take the largest of the circles and I'm going to cut a circle out of the this really pretty Just Jade designer series paper and that will go on the inside of the card but I might as well get all my cutting done while I have my machine in front of me. So have you got your new stamp and cut and emboss machine? I absolutely love mine. And the other thing that I just got was the new magnetic cutting plate, which just makes it so much easier to be able to cut, um, cut out and have your uh, dies held in place. Okay, last thing that you want to do while you have your machine is to cut a circle frame. Let's just, I'm gonna take this a bit too much here, okay. So I'm going to take my largest again of my circles and we'll cut, cut this out of just jade. So this is going to frame the opening on the front of the card base. Okay. So that's the, the largest of the circle. So now let's just take the second largest circle that back so I don't lose it. And we're gonna just put the second largest circle over top of the circle that we just cut. It pretty much covers the, the whole piece and cut out. Now this gives you that the frame around the opening, like I said. So, so you can see this cuts that little circle frame. Okay, so we've got that piece cut, we've got the designer series paper. So two more things that we're gonna cut while we have, have the, the machine in place. Using, you can do these together. Um, so using two of the smaller circles, so depending on the size of your sentiment, so I'm using the, the thanks a ton and I actually know that this size of circle will, will cut out, will fit. And then the other one that I need to use, and we'll just like this, um, is one slightly bigger than that to to give it a background around it. So I'm gonna cut these out while I have my, my uh, machine. And then there's one final step to emboss the pool party piece that we cut out. And the reason that I cut out the, so I've got my circle, which I will just put off to the side and I've got my Just Jade circle that will be part of the label uh, on the front of the card. Okay, so I can put these aside. Now, I'm just gonna put that piece aside and I'm going to bring in the seabed, if you can see this, seabed embossing folder, just beautiful detail. We're going to emboss the the pool party piece that we cut out earlier. Now, the reason I do this as a second step, you could emboss the front, emboss the piece of cardstock first before you oops, cut it out. Let this go in the right way. Just have to think about the new layers. There we go. Um, you can emboss this before you actually cut out that circle if you wanted to, but I find that um, if you emboss it first and then run it through uh, afterwards to cut out, now I can put my, my machine down. Um, if you do it, the embossing first, um, when you run it through to cut, it flattens the detail on the embossing folder. And it's just such beautiful detail that, so I tend to do the embossing as a second step. Just a tip. Okay, so now what you can do we're gonna, 
could hear this pool party piece to the front of the card. Lining up the opening and hopefully getting it close to even on the sides. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll put this aside. So now we want to take some of the Just Jade cardstock and we're going to stamp using Just Jade. We're going to stamp our whale now. For the front of the card, I'm going to stamp off lightly, and then I'm going to stamp my my whale. Okay, and then I'm going to take the little, I think they're meant to be bubbles, but I'm going to use them as dots and just kind of give my whale some dots. Okay, so then the second thing that we want to use, bring in, I have a silicone mat here. Actually, before we do that, we're going to punch out this whale. I think I have to bring this so I can get it. I kind of stamped it at the top of my, I'm probably going to have to do more than that piece of paper. And I should have not done that. I should have stamped it at the bottom so I can actually get it into the punch. All right, so we'll get it into the punch and we're going to punch the whale out. When you punch your whale out, you get a few pieces that you want to keep track of. You get, I want to cut that off. All right, we're going to have to, you get a, you get a fin, um, you get an eye, which we're not going to use because we're going to use a rhinestone. You get a spout, two parts of a spout, and I see I've cut that little piece off. So we're going to just cut the spout out again from the pool party, or from the, the Just Jade piece. So do I have a full spout? And there's another, that's the other piece of the spout. Okay. Now, the other thing that you want to do is we're going to punch out a second whale and the spout. Again, you want all of these pieces. So there's my whale. And there's my spout and two pieces of spout. And there's my other fin. Okay. All right. So for this whale, this is going to go on the back. So you can see one of the tips is if I stamp this, I'm going to end up with the stamped image covered up. So the way to get the mirror image, again, I'm going to stamp off lightly and I'm going to stamp on a silicone mat. Now it's a bit hard to see, I'm sure. So I've stamped it and then I'm just going to take my, my whale that I punched out and look, just kind of put it over top, pat it down. Now this is the back, so it's not going to be perfect. You can see um, it's not as dark. If you wanted it to be darker, um, you maybe didn't don't stamp it off, but I'm okay with it not being uh, as dark as the front. And we're going to do the same. We're going to give him some dots on his top. Now the two fins, which I've got one fin. Where did my second fin go? It's the problem with these little pieces. So I've got my spout. I've lost my little fin. Oh, no. All right, we're going to punch out one more fin, which is down here in the bottom. Keep track of your pieces because they're little and they do disappear. Okay, so there's my two fins. Now, the fins fit here on the front. So you just want to get them in place. So I've got my front and my back. So get them in the right spots. So I'm going the right way. And I'm just going to put some dots on the fins to give them a little bit of definition, detail. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take 
some dimensionals. Now I'm going to choose the regular dimensionals and I'm just going to cut them because I find that even the mini dimensionals are, are just a little bit big. So I'm just going to cut little tiny pieces off of the, the regular size dimensional and I'm going to put them on the back of these fins just to pop up the fins. And you don't need too much. Oops, got it on my finger. Maybe I'll put two on this one because that's they're quite small pieces. All right. And then they go hide my little piece of the dimensional so it doesn't show. There we go. Okay. Where they're supposed to go. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put the eyes on um, afterwards now. So I've got my, my front and my back of my whale. So before you stick these two pieces together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some stamp and seal. Cover this up so I don't get my fingers. Put some stamp and seal. Now I have a piece of window sheet, which I set here so that I wouldn't lose it. There we go, window sheet. So we're going to take this and I'm going to use glue dots for this. So I'm going to stick my, my spout pieces to this window sheet. And you might have to kind of push this, the glue dots down. So I'm going to take it and just put it on the window sheet like this. And then my little, little tiny piece to the glue dot, you're going to have to make it small enough to fit your finger okay and then you can turn over and you're going to just so that you you don't have to do this but just put another piece on so that you're kind of covering the front and the back so whether regardless of where the where the whale spins to um you're going to have cardstock spouted a spout cardstock piece showing rather than the back of, of it. Oops, did that stick to my fingers now? Okay, so there's that piece and the rest of the spout. Oh, of course, you know what I did? I put the glue dot on the wrong side. You have to kind of watch what you're doing on this because they're the two different sides of your... Let's see if I can get my glue dot off here before I... I think what I'm going to do... Rather than fuss with that, I'm just going to cut another spout, punch another spout out. There it is there. All right, so I want to make sure that it goes that way. So let's get the glue dot on the right side this time. I'm sure you've, I can't be the only one that's done that. Oops. Okay, so then that can go like that. So now I'm just going to take this and just cut around this. So this piece is going to go, this is the front, it's going to show like this. So you'll see the spout, but you won't actually see, see the, the window sheet, what it's adhered to. So I'm just going to cut around the window sheet. I want to leave about, oh, a quarter of an inch wide and by about half an inch so that you can adhere it to the middle between the two pieces of the whale. So I'm just using my paper snips to to cut around the pieces of the, the spout. You don't absolutely have to do this, but there. Now I'm just going to take, and I've done this already, so I'm just going to take this and adhere that. So I added some stamp and seal. So now I've got my spout um, above that. 
So to suspend the, the whale, I'm using um, linen thread. So again, I'm gonna add a glue dot on top of the window sheet just to make sure that the, this will hold. So it may be about, um, you know, two or three inches of, of linen thread above and below the whale. And we're gonna sandwich that so you won't see a lot of it. The other, okay, so we're gonna sandwich it between the two pieces. So now I can take and put some stamp and seal on the other side and we'll sandwich our two pieces of the whale together. There. So we've got the linen thread sandwiched between and we've got image on both sides. So now what you can do is bring back your card pieces, your base. And again, I use glue dots because it just kind of holds things in place as you're getting your, your pieces paired together with, with stamp and seal. All right. So I'm going to figure out where I want my whale to go and make sure it's tight between the two and dangling. So there we go. So that's what the whale will be like. And then you can take and trim this slightly. You don't have to worry about the bottom one so much, but the top one you don't want. And then this will fit over here. So I'm just going to apply some stamp and seal. And when you adhere um, this piece, you want to actually make sure you have stamp and seal around the edges so that you will catch and hold the, the thread in place. There. It looks like I, my thread maybe let go a little bit, so I'm just going to lift this up and pull it, pull it tight. So I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oops. So make sure it's pulled tight and caught between. Oh. Don't turn your card like that. Uh. There we go. It's held tight between your, your two pieces so that it, it spins a little bit. There we go. Okay, so then that's the part of the front of the card. So I cut earlier this piece of designer series paper. So this is going to go in behind on. So first of all, let's take our piece of whisper white. We've got a piece of whisper white card stock that is is four inches by five and a quarter. And we will adhere that to the inside of the card. just the standard inside piece. Okay, now one of the ways to do this, I'm just going to put some stamp and seal on the back of my circle that I cut out earlier and you can get it. So just kind of apply it in behind and then fold your card front down on it so that you get it. So you want it to be covering covering the the opening of, of where the whale will show okay all right almost there so now i'm going to take some just jade so you're going to wrap this around the card front and i'm going to put the seam at the front because it's going to be covered up with the label again i'm going to use a glue dot to hold these Hold the one piece in place while I get it going the right way. There we go. So that will hold that in place. And then you can take some stamp and seal and uh, bring the, the other piece 
and overlap it. Oops, get my stamp and seal long enough to overlap it. There we go. Okay. Now earlier I cut out this piece and oh, a piece of whisper white, which has gone missing now. I might have to quickly cut another piece of whisper white out. All right, well, let's do that. Don't know what happened. So that was out of the smallest piece, smallest circle. So is my. I will quickly do that through the magic of uh, magic of uh, video. All right. Never fails. I lose pieces as I'm. I'm sure that's happened to everybody. And as soon as I cut this out. I will find it again. All right. Now, there we go. So I'm going to take the Just Jade ink and I have my thanks a ton stamp. So I'm just going to stamp this in the middle. Close that up. And then I've got pool party. And I'm going to use the fish in pool party. And I'm just going to stamp some schools of fish on my label. Just to give it a little bit more detail. And I will adhere this piece. This piece, and then I'm going to pop this up with my dimensionals. And this is just going to go on the front of the card over top of the, the seam where you would join the two pieces of ribbon together. All right, almost there. So the last part of this, let's bring in a couple of pieces, lost pieces. Um, is really about embellishing. So we definitely need an eye. So you can either use, this is the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. So I'm going to use a, a pool party eye. And we'll put an eye on both sides. Roughly in the same spot there. So there it is an eye in both sides. And then I have some of these. These are from the Artistry Blooms um, adhesive backed sequins, and they're really pretty. But these are in the pool party. So I'm just going to put just a couple of sequins on the front just to give it a little bit more detail, maybe three. There we go. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is this is Wink of Stella. And I'm just going to take some Wink of Stella and color over the spout just to make it shimmery. We'll do it on both sides. You could do your whole whale if you wanted to, I guess. But I think I won't. Okay, there we go. And then so the last piece, which I probably should have done first. But anyway, the last piece is you can take, so you've cut this circle frame out earlier. So you can use your multi or your liquid adhesive glue, um, which I don't have handy. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to take my silicone sheet and I'm going to just use stamp and seal in a few spots. So the, the trick with this is the stamp and seal will not um, adhere to the silicone so that you can turn this over and and use your fingers just to kind of get the adhesive off of where it's over over the edge and then take this and just apply it around the opening of the circle there. So 
to there. Isn't that a cute card? So you've got the, the dangly, the dangly whale in the front and on the inside, uh, the designer series paper. All right, let me just flip back over. The right one. There we go. So thanks everybody for joining. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you some tips and tricks to make this card. Um, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested. Uh, and as well, check out my blog because the ins written instructions for this and then the images of this card are posted on my blog. So thanks everybody for joining and I hope you have a great day. Bye.